Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to our second edition of Crisscross Mail, where we're gonna answer your questions you guys submitted to. Are you okay? I'm good. You're doing your breathing exercise. You guys submitted some questions to our Super Mario Bros. According to a three-year-old video, <laughs> which was a great. By the way, that fun video, video is awesome, and thanks for. Uh, I love it. I love the response for everyone that watched it. I love that video. It's probably one of my favorites, and we're not even in it. Daniel, where are you? All right, so we have a bunch of questions from you guys, and we are going to gladly answer them right, right now. now. All right, question one comes from not this guy again. Oh, not this guy again. Uh, anyways, uh, do you guys there? But he's trying to say, do you guys think there's going to be a new Smash Brothers game anytime soon? Of course there's going to be another Super Smash Brothers game. It's like one of the best-selling games on the yeah, series was... of all time. I mean, it's, it's a great game. There's so many things they can do to it. Add so many new characters. I agree. It would be, I mean, for Nintendo not to do it, they would have to be very stupid and dumb. I think there's going to be two Super Smash Brothers games. Uh, one for... This, either the Nintendo Wii or the Super Nintendo Wii that we think is going to come out, or the 3DS. <clears throat> Definitely for the 3DS because of the new connectivity uh, thing they have, but I don't you think know, there's going to be any more for the Wii. You don't think so? No, but I think with the Wii 2 or the Super Nintendo Wii as we call it, or the whatever next generation Nintendo console, there will definitely, without question, be another Super Smash Brothers. Even though the creator was like, I don't just want to make a new game just to add more characters, but um, oh, yeah. I, I think he will. No, but there will be another. There's still more game. to more. There's to more game. things to do. What he's saying there is that the new one's gonna have more things, and it's yeah, not just not gonna, just be, new gonna be new characters. The next question comes from Super Twos. What was your favorite time in your CCM life or life CCM? Yeah. Um, so we'll say we'll we'll narrow this down because we can go on forever. Our crisscross media career. What was our favorite thing that's happened to us so far this past year? You go first. You want me to go first? I want you to go spot? first. You're gonna go on the spot right, All right now. Well. My favorite time so far for Crisscross Media has to be uh, the time where uh, where Chris and I were sitting on his computer desk and we found out or hit an email that we never even used and there they were, the requests for TGS um, partnership amongst with other emails that led to the Disney Epic Mickey contest giveaway. That, that, that whole night cool. was... Uh, Full of uh, excitement and joy, and that was one of my most favorite times. That was so that far. was probably one of the, one of the most exciting. That one, um, and then another thing I, I absolutely loved was when we uploaded Toy Story reenactment, and Leon Critch tweeted about it, and I'm like, we were in Florida. Oh, I love like he Leon Critch. If you guys aren't familiar, he directed Toy Story three, co-directed Toy Story two, co-directed Finding Nemo. Was he also um, in Bugs Life? Oh, I'm not sure. I know he was an editor I think in. I saw his name on Bugs Life. I'm sure he worked on it. I know he was an editor in Toy Story, the first one. Mm -hmm. You know, just a very creative guy. One of my idols. I love the guys over at Pixar. And when then we he tweeted again about our Toy Story two reenactment, and I was like, we're in Florida, <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> yeah, we have a video of that. I kind of I kind of remind myself of Leon Creech because I remember when we were watching those cutscenes, he had long hair, and then. Oh yeah, you know, buzzing it all off. <laughs> so yeah, the Toy Story three, like he was yeah. long like a stallion. Yeah, yeah, nice uh, haircut, big yeah. guy. Shh, don't I love it. All right, Lord Mars one two three asks, do you guys think you will be friends forever? <laughs> Is this a serious <laughs> question? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, we've been friends since freshman year of freshman high school. Year. What and is we're that? going on what six years? Now? Six seven years. I think so, we're good. Yeah, we'll like, be friends forever. We'll be friends forever. Done. Until next death. question. This next question um, is a three-parter. It's from Duct Tape Seven Zero Two. The first question is: Do you guys like Kingdom Hearts? And if so, do you plan on doing a Kingdom Hearts month? Number two was: What are your favorite movies of all time? And number three was: What one? Wait. What are your favorite games <laughs> of all time? Um, Kingdom Hearts, Christian. What do can we, we say like about Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts? Hearts. Of yes. course. We love Kingdom Hearts. It was um, the only reason I bought a Sony PlayStation 2, and it's the only reason why you bought a Sony PlayStation 2. And it's the only reason Chris has a PSP. Because it's for he still has Birth by Sleep sitting over there and he I haven't played it yet, but I want to. Um of course. I'm a huge Disney fan. So is so are you. Yeah, and we actually were planning on doing a Kingdom Hearts month uh in the beginning of this year, but we're gonna Postpone I would it. say that we will do a Kingdom Hearts. Of movie. course, it's inevitable. Um, we don't know when. Such a great series. But we will. We will. Uh, number two is what are your favorite movies of all time? I think we should break this up into three categories because I, I like I'm a movie buff yeah. and you like a lot of movies. We'll do favorite animated movie, 
favorite uh, live action movie and favorite comedy. All right, why don't you 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 take this one? Favorite animated an anim 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 favorite animated movie of all time has to be The Lion King. All Growing right, up with that, you stole that one from me. <laughs> great, one of the greatest movies of all time. Great music. Favorite comedy, Rush Hour Two. I love the Rush Hour series, but I thought two was the best out of the three. Fantastic movie. Oh man, this is a, this is the hard part. I live action. I, live action. <sighs> It's like asking me which which child do you like the best, even though I have no children. You're staring at him. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I I like. I'm just gonna spit these out. Jaws, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Jurassic Park. Done. Those are all the movies you like. I love. I, I love my. I, yeah. Well, Crystal, my favorite animated movie. I would also have to go with Lion King. Um, I watched that as a kid growing up, first in Spanish on VHS, and then eventually in English. Um, that movie is makes you cry, it makes you laugh, everything. It's everything. My favorite comedy, I haven't watched a lot of movies, and Chris already uh, mentioned Rush Hour. I do love Rush Hour, but personally my favorite comedy is hard to pick between Blue Streak and Beverly Hills Ninja. I just love Chris Farley and Martin, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence yep. um, and live action movie. Ugh. Um, I don't know, I'm, I kind of don't watch a lot of action movies, so it is... It doesn't have to be action, it could be anything. Did you like Ninja Turtles? I do. Would that be considered? It's like a live action, uh, action comedy, I guess. Alright. In a way. And I guess Chris helped me with that one. Uh, <laughs> I know this guy better than he knows himself. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say the, the, f the first Ninja Turtles movie. Nintendo View asks, Was there ever a month you haven't done because only one of you likes it, or knows enough about it, and the other dislikes the theme, or knows nothing about it? That is a very good question. Um, and I guess there was never a theme where I told Christian no, and there was never a theme that you I came out and you ever said no. Nope. Um, I will say that we did a Star Wars month. You came in not knowing too much of I mean, you knew Star Wars, but you didn't know too much yeah, about I didn't it, know, like me. Yeah, I wasn't a, a Star Wars buff. And then, like I brought you into that. And then Halo, I, I only played Halo 3, but I didn't play it religiously. And Christian's like, let's do a Halo month. And you kind of introduced me to that. So I guess, you know, that was a theme where you were stronger on, and I didn't know too much, and that was a theme where I was stronger on, and you didn't know too much. And will there be more themes where maybe I know more, or he may, maybe knows more? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, of course, because, you know, I like learning new things. and uh, That's the thing I was telling Chris. Um, if, if we, the months that we do do, do the do, months we do do, are, are the ones where we both... Are, are familiar with like Mario month we both know equally oh, yeah. much Mario yeah. and all the other months too like generally it will be months we are both big fans mm -hmm. of but there will be months where we're like where one knows more than the other and that's what's interesting is while doing it you learn mm -hmm. about other things and of course that's it's always gonna be like that so yeah oh and by the way we got a um, crisscross fan mail I just uh, we get the stuff sporadically sometimes but uh, I just want to show this one we got this from the mail the other day, from a kid named Rondi, and he wrote a very nice letter, um, and he's actually sent us, and I feel very bad because he sent us his copy of Sonic the Secret Rings. Um, he told us that from our last Chris oh, yeah, mail, last... he said to be like Mario over Sonic, mm -hmm. and he's like, uh-uh, not until you play this game. So I have yet to play this game, and I mean, we're going to play it together. It. I remember um, uh, reading about it a long time ago, though. And we'll see. And uh, check out his channel. His channel is youtube.com slash tales of a gamer. We have a link down below. Check out his channel. Say uh, thanks for giving Chris Crest Media a game. <laughs> and he wants and, to remind all of you guys that uh, Sonic is the same age as us. He turns 20 in June. <laughs> oh, so yeah. That's happy right. birthday to Sonic in June. Sonic's so old. <laughs> um, and if you guys want to send fan mail or letters or you want to get an autograph, because I know you get requests all the time, we have a link down below to an address you guys can't send that to. So go ahead and do it. Um, again, thanks for all the packages we have received. Um, and now we have a question for you guys. How young were you when you were introduced to video games, and what was that game? You guys already know ours, so let us know yours in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you next week for Crisscross Mail Episode 3. Episode 3. Thanks again, guys, and you've just been Crisscross. See you. And as Daniel says, peace. Mamma mia!